what is going on hope you're good hope you're well today i am here to discuss a fragrance from a house that i am all too familiar with that's right we are here to discuss diptyque's oud palau is this one of the best ouds on the fragrance market that nobody even talks about stay tuned all right Taking the bias of the fact that I am a brand ambassador for Diptyque out of this one. Yes, this is a very good oud fragrance that is probably on the intermediate level of oud for people who enjoy oud fragrances. I feel that there is just enough complexity to where somebody who really is into oud fragrances can appreciate something like this while also still being mass appealing and enjoyable for those who are just getting into ouds or may not like heavier fragrances. You're gonna get some honey, you're gonna get some tobacco. You're obviously gonna have oud. This is a oud rose combination. This goes together always like the letters Q and U. There's also some vanilla in here. So, oud, rose, honey, tobacco, patchouli, little bit of incense. The tobacco isn't a uh, like wet tobacco. It just with the pairing of the incense comes off like a finely lit cigar. Performance on this is very, very good. This thing will give you a solid 12 to 14 hours with nine to 10 of that projecting within a four foot bubble. And then after that, it kind of sits closer, but it's always going to stick to the skin. And if it's on clothes, it will last you an even longer time. Say the age range for something like this is somebody who's going to at least be 21 and up. You do have to appreciate oud. So I will say that for that, is why it needs to be at least a little bit more mature. I know people usually appreciate ouds around the age of 21, unless they're just raised by it their entire life. This is a unisexed oud fragrance. There's enough things going on on the feminine side for women to appreciate it. And there's enough things going on with notes that men would appreciate in demasculine it really just kind of depends on the wearer you know certain parts of the fragrance pop on the different genders i've come to realize i gave ali from doc fragrance a bottle of this as a gift and it definitely does come off a little bit more feminine on her but not too aggressive you know ouds could be aggressive this is a very well crafted oud fragrance Great job, Diptyque. Bottle and presentation. So it only comes in one size, 75 ml Eau de Parfum. You could tell it's an Eau de Parfum because it has the black bottle with the black label. If it was an Eau de Toilette, it would be a clear bottle with the clear uh, with the white label. Oud Palau right there. You, of course, have Diptyque's image painting the picture of the fragrance right there. Diptyque on the cap, not sure if you knew this, but on the side of the bottle usually contains some of the notes and the ingredients. Size of the fragrance, like I said, 75 ml and the sprayer. So there you have it. There are my thoughts. Oud Palau, very good. Everyone that I've shown this to that actually likes Oud fragrances, have actually appreciated this one fragrances that would be similar to this not carbon copies but just similar enough something to draw a reference to i would say maison francis kirk john's oud satin mood just the edp not the uh extra this would be in line with something similar to um even Memo's African leather, but the only difference is, is that there isn't any leather in there. But the, the leather kind of gives off this similar tone. It smells closer in line with 
good satin mood. But it has the same tone as something like African leather. It's a good fragrance, worth checking out. Unfortunately, I don't have this fragrance to sell in my store, but I know a lot of other places that do. So do yourselves a favor, either stop by the Diptyque Boutique or your local department store that actually carries more of the Diptyque line and check it out. And if you like it, let them know I sent you, I guess. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. In the comments down below, let me know if you've tried Oud Palau or what any of your favorite Diptyque fragrances are. Are you even intrigued to want to try this? As we are now into the fall, it's time to break out the ouds, the tobaccos, like what this fragrance is. My name's Joe. I'll see you later.